Hey, how you doing? Austin here. In this video, we're going to talk about what's going on with China banning all crypto and the impact it's having on the market. The market has absolutely had a flash crash. We were over $2 trillion as far as overall market cap. We're down about to about one89 uh, This is a short-term scenario. I'm going to show you and cut to a piece of content here in a minute. Uh, but bottom line, this is a political move on China's part. We all know that China, communist country, they want control. They cannot control crypto. So thus they are, air quotes are on purpose. They are banning it. This is the evolution of a story that's been here for months and months and months. It's just kind of the continued evolution of this thing. They started, they banned miners earlier in the summer, uh, Bitcoin miners and, you know, crypto miners, etc. And uh, it's all about control. Okay, so this video is for entertainment purposes only. We're going to jump into it and we're going to look at what it's doing to the overall market. Here we go. Let's do this. Okay, so right here, right now, as I said, market's down about four by four point eight percent. Bitcoin uh, got down and touched right around forty thousand nine hundred dollars. Ethereum bounced down and touched uh, right around twenty seven hundred and change. So and but seemed to be coming back a little bit. I'm going to state this bottom line up front. This is a short-term scenario. I firmly believe that the market's going to bounce back. What you see right here, right now, is the market digesting this con. This, you know, this 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 major developing news, which frankly is, in my opinion, not. It's one of those things where we all know China and how they feel about crypto and uh, the continued. Uh, you know, impact that the negative impact that's trying to having the, on the overall crypto market. And it just kind of is what it is, right? But at the end of the day, um, it's one of those things where this is to me, I'm viewing this as an opportunity. I'm viewing this as an opportunity to go shopping. I'm viewing this, you know, as, as, as like, hey, I'm going to open up my wallet and going to go find some stuff. I mean, look at this, for example, Cardano has had almost no impact, right? So that kind of as an example is showing you of like the overall trust factor in Cardano as an example. And this is really not relevant or germane to a lot of these cryptos, right? And it's going to impact Bitcoin and Ethereum mainly short term because they are the two blue chip bellwether cryptos in the overall market and Cardano to an extent as well. But uh, with that said, uh, we're going to go take a look at this. Hey, got to make you aware. I have my Patreon. Links are in the description. If you want help with your portfolio, I mean, to look at it. You want to, you can join and cancel at any time. I've just added this pay annually option if you want to save some cash. Uh, I will help you with your portfolio. You get access to my portfolio and you get access to the Discord private community if you're tired of being alone in this crypto journey and I'd love to help you. Okay, so China banning crypto. So China says all crypto related, uh, currency related transactions are now illegal and must be banned. Again, they want control, okay? And at the heart of crypto is is decentralization, is not having control. Thus, China is going to say, oh no, that's a bad thing over there, right? They don't like it. Okay, so... It's what's weird is that people can still own the assets. Um, let me show you here. Let me show you one. Oh, right here. Um, this is what they say. So the central bank said cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin and Tether, cannot be circulated in the market as they are not fiat currency. Okay. Um, the surge in use of cryptocurrencies has disrupted, quote, economic and financial order and prompted a proliferation, listen to this, of, quote, money laundering, illegal fundraising, fraud, pyramid schemes, and other illegal and criminal activities. <laughs> it just makes you laugh. I mean, has crypto been, been used to, um, you know, to for criminal activities? Yes, absolutely. Has regular cash been done? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, but I love how they're I love how they're laying it all out that it's specifically for money laundering, illegal fundraising, fraud, pyramid schemes. It's just like, okay, come on, let's just all recognize what is going on here. Okay, it this is not about crypto. This is about control from the Chinese government. Okay, period. End of story. Uh, it's just it. It I actually kind of makes me laugh a little bit. Um, let me see, I'm just seeing if there's anything else here. Cause panic, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm just reading this to make sure. Ah, you know, it's not, it, the rest of it's crap. I mean, let's just call it what it is. It is, it, it's just like, yeah, just it just kind of cracks you up. Okay, so again, that's what's going on. China's banned crypto. Oh gosh, this was a huge shock. This is meaning, hence, since, since my sarcastic tone, 
All right, guys, um, I'm going to bounce. As always, thank you for your support. This is nothing to worry about. This is a short-term little uh, situation. And frankly, it's an opportunity. And that's how I'm looking at it. Not investment advice, do your own due diligence, you know, but I'm looking at this like, hey, I'm going to go buy some more Ethereum. Uh, you know, might buy some, you know, some other things like Solana, Phantom, uh, Avalanche, Algo, you know, all some of my top favorites. They're you're probably a little bit on discount right now. Like Algorand right now is down, you know, step 7%. Not bad. Okay. See, I'll see you later. Take it easy. Don't worry about it. Bye.